Right, um, based on that one, we could just give you this very first story before we pass more break. And this one concerns the Nigerian military um, and the plans that they don't get. Now, according to it, who they get, according to the information they receive, they said the Nigerian military don't plan nationwide operation. So they ask for identity cards from citizens across the country. Now, according to it in the column, they talk to this operation, positive identification, we go make sure, say, soldiers go walk out on top of the streets of Nigeria, uh, whether or not for high will, low will, middle will, they go just they ask people to make them produce identification on the spot. Now, soldiers, they say they don't they already take similar measures to separate citizens from terrorists in the Boko Haram um, ravaged region for the northeastern part of Nigeria. Now, they say the military don't claim, say, as a last month, so with the troops that they get, they don't make sure, say, this exercise is done successful by carrying them with um, valid identity, that does people we get, we don't get ID card, they, they answer a lot of questions on top of them. Um, but right now, the military will be announced, for inside September 25, say this war no, not to checkmate bandits, kidnappers, and robbers, uh, ethnic uh, military, and even cattle rust rustlers, as well as any other person who won't cause badness for inside the country. Now, this pronouncement, they come at about the same time, with the awareness about the 2019 edition of the military's anti-crime operation, such as um, I am I am Akpatuma in the North Central, and even another one with it for the Southeast, plus Kokodai Smile for inside the South South and the Southwest. Um, according to it, they come outside talk. They say right now, well, based on the information they get uh, from Kennedy and Bowebi, human rights activist for inside Abuja, they come outside talk premium time. Say if law enforcement agency get a reason to suspect a citizen, may then go after that citizen and not subject the whole country. To fear. It's more than half of Nigerians no get identity card as they talk. So what do you expect them to carry? According to him, he said they're unconstitutional to ask citizens to carry ID cards or to be treated as suspects. Uh, we know that Nigeria don't face challenges uh, in compiling a unified data database of its citizens. Remember, say for 2007, the commission they be created and to register and issue ID cards to all citizens when they are above 16 years of age. Over 10 years they don't pass. Only a few million people now don't they enroll. That's not enrollment. And even a few are more or a few are less number of people now they don't even get the plastic identity card. Millions of citizens as they talk. So uh, they don't even get voting credentials. They don't even get driver's license. They don't even get international passport. So millions, they never even they employed and they don't even get any work issued ID card. He said this one oh, to me be like an attempt to victimize. Intimidate, inti uh, intimidate, and extort Nigerians. Now, it's another um, human rights activist. Come outside, talk with him. Nabode, uh, uh, Yabrade. He come outside, talk this one all the way from war. He said, Nigeria is a democracy, in a democracy country. So we should not be waking up the fear of a military si uh, siege in our co um, collective psyche. And so he come outside, talk. He say, they, they ask for means of identification. Even the means of identification, how many of them they are available? For how I many how many people for Nigeria actually get them? If you look at the national ID card, for example, how many people don't get this national ID card? Because now, according to information they even here, this ID card, if your own don't even expire, as at the time you they collect her. Because for some people, they don't register for four years plus now, they still never get her. So by the time you get her, if you expire to renew them, government they talk say we need to pay five thousand naira. How many people don't even collect them? How many people get voters card? How many people get driver's license? All of this what they ask now, valid ID cards. Oh, they ask so if your own uh, don't expire, it means that you don't get any means of identification. And if this one over here say military won't do, if they start to do them, uh, this one fit to cause heavy gigi for some people in that category. And they call this one operation positive identification, just for you to understand. Now they come outside talk, say they won't start to search citizens them. Say if they search you, they go ask you for ID card. If they check your ID card and they see, say, you na person where be say you not get ID card, or you na person where be say uh, your, ID, your ID card not they show saying that Nigerian you be, that one means say wahala go enter on top of your head. People don't they come outside, they criticize and say, why? Why military go go around? Even the presence of military alone, they make Niger people they fear. Yeah. So now, why you go at, at uh, give them this permission for them to go around to the um, harass, according by people, to the harass citizens, they ask them, for ID number, like you talk, people they come outside talk say, how many Nigerians even get valid driver's license, valid national ID um, um, card, valid international passport, or any means of identification? We never even make them, they very unified for us, for example, we don't Nigeria, and yet this one day on ground.
first of all, they will bring them down. They will bring this particular law on ground for just the northern part of the country. But now they're saying that nationwide, now this one will actually um, take place. But now something where we need to actually put our mouth inside. Let's deliberate on that this morning. Make we talk about her. Now, our top story for the day, Nigeria military, uh, the dot-com as I talk, say they will start to do operation positive identification. And this one, now, to stop the kind of badness where they happen for inside Wobudo, Nigeria, from cultism or kidnapping, or even all these headsmen, wahala, or all these wicked way with their face, they say this one, now, to stop them. And how they want to stop them? Now, today, ask Nigerians for ID number. If they see you for street, they will just stop you. Oh, yeah, show me your ID. Make me not say yes, you get ID card. And you feel that this one will actually go a long way to solve this insecurity with the experience for example with Nigeria. Speak with us, Apec. Because we now, people they come outside, they ask, say, how smart is that move? Because if a lot of time, times, these black people, when you catch some of them, they are educated. They are, they are graduate from school, so they might have some form of ID. So if you say person don't get ID, you say the person be a bad person. So now what do you think, say they will get some form of some, ID? Oh, I'm, some, I'm, some, I'm some, of stories, some of the stories where, where I don't read for media, where some they'll tell me, say, oh, now because I want to marry my wife, I'm a graduate from no, social... No, being a graduate so, don't mean say you go get ID. No, but oh, if you're a graduate, ideally you should have your school ID card. No, it don't no expire money. now. No See, money. For you school have, ID card. You should have a school ID no. card, which is... No, no, I'm just saying that. I'm saying you should have an ID of some form. It's a, a, a form of identification if you're a graduate. So that identification, at least even if you don't get any other one, even if you don't get national, at least you have a form of identification. But how is that going to be? How is this ID identification, um, ID card checking? How is it going to check mates? How smart of a move is it in checkmating who be bad and who not be bad person? Mm -hmm. So if I don't get ID card, if my order expire, it does it categorically mean I'm a I bad person? I think that one is the major question. How does it categorically? ID how, how does it validate who is good and who is bad? Because most of them, um, most of these moves that they put on ground, according by um, a lot of online media, when they will try to contact the um, army PR person, they come outside talk say a lot of this badness where they happen for example in Nigeria, not be only Nigerians alone. Now people from neighboring countries now they actually enter inside Obudo, Nigeria, they cause this badness. According by the some of the people they don't catch, don't mm. discover, say people from Kotonou, Benin Republic, that they enter inside Obudo, Nigeria, they cause badness. And that's why they want to identify the ones who be Niger people and the ones who not be Niger people. Yes, we understand say people they actually enter, but how this one will take solve badness. To enjoy more of this our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.